So as I've said in the past, if you're doing um, a color, you don't do font color or, you know, text color or anything like that. It's just color. And as you see the options for like background, here, background dash color, then you don't have to do that. You just do color if you're doing it working with fonts. So let's just see how that worked. And we're just going to pull it up in Firefox. And you see now every other one is red. So that worked and that looks very good. And what we're going to do now, well, very good considering it's working well, that's all we care about right now. So now what we're going to do are columns and then we're going to float them. So we're going to start our columns just for the, you know, no reason other than because I'm deciding to do it. Uh, I'm going to start the column underneath the title. So sometimes you're going to want to, sometimes you're not. I am, in this case, we're going to want to. So this is div and we're going to call this, oh, so you always have to do an ID. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. You do div ID and then uh, you just name it what you want to. So we're going to name this column left because that's what this is going to be. So column left and we're just going to close that and then we're going to close the div right underneath the list. Now we're going to do another one for column middle and then column right. So div id column middle we're going to close that right underneath uh right above rather all um already a member and then we're just going to make already a member column right so we're just going to write that div id column right And we're just going to close that at the bottom. Make sure not to close it too close to the wrapper closing div because you don't want to confuse them. So I leave always at least one space in between. So now let's go look and see if there's any difference. And there really isn't any at all. The reason for this is because we haven't styled it yet. So let's style it. And we're just going to move the classes a little further down because you always want to keep things nice and organized. Um, another bad habit I had in Fix is that I'd have everything just kind of thrown around as I needed it. And it was very, very hard to go and find. So I am I now keep my regular tags on top. And then my wrappers, I usually keep on the bottom actually, but you don't need to. Like in this case, I'm keeping my, not wrappers, I'm sorry, divs. I usually keep them on the bottom, but here I'm going to keep them in the middle and then you know your classes so this will be we just need to write them out so column left column middle and column right left column middle and you should be always do lowercase because it is cap sensitive right and that's it so now we have our classes, um, not classes, now we have our divs and we have it in the styles and everything. So let's just do float and left. So we'll just, you could float right here. I'm going to pull it up in a second and just show you the options. And we have inherent, which means that it will automatically do what it naturally does. And that's it. Um, left will make it float left, none obviously, and right will make it float right. So we're just going to do it left also, and one more time, float left. We're just going to see how that looks. And again, it hasn't really done anything, and the reason for this is because, hmm, okay. Anyway, so the reason for this is because uh, we haven't given it a width. So we're just going to give them all a width of one, 320 because that's um, 960 divided by 3. So width 320 pixels. 320. Again, don't forget pixels because that's really important. And one more time, width 320 pixels. So let's see. 
And as you can see here now, everything's floating very nicely right next to each other. However, if you look over here, we have a little problem that this is really floating right next to it and practically going into the letters and that's very uncomfortable and it just doesn't look very good. So what we are going to do is we are going to give each individual column a margin. So that's how, what we're going to do and we're just going to remove, well we'll leave the middle column to have what it wants but we're just going to make this 200, uh, 300 and this 300 and then just give a margin on the other side of 20. So this is column left and we want the margin on the right so we're going to do margin right and 20 pixels and here is column of uh, right so we're going to want uh, margins on the left so margin left 20 pixels and as you can see now there's way more space in between and it looks a lot better cleaner and just all around you know it looks good so that's great and um, let's just do also a little padding just because you know it's a really good thing to know so we're going to do paragraph so we're going to go to the p tag and we're going to just give the paragraphs a little bit of padding so padding and let's just do it on the left so padding left let's say 25 pixels just so we could see what's happening so here notice that it's completely aligned with the title and now it's not now it's pushed further away so that's really good to know so the difference between a p uh, margin and padding is that padding is on the inside of the div of the anything and a margin is on the outside so if I want to give the margin padding as we did then it gives this nice space over here and if I want to give padding on the inside then it will give this space inside so you actually have like all of this still there but it's kind of pushed over so this way the text is a little bit more indented so that works and um, Anyway, so I hope your document looks like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will respond. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. Bye.